Hello Flames fans, I'm Jeremiah Peprocki. What a busy edition of this week in UIC Athletics. Asad Juma represented the Flames at the NCAA Men's Gymnastics National Championships. He qualified for the final round with a career high score of 14.366 on the vault. He competed in the finals along with the top gymnast in the country at the UIC Pavilion. The golf team wrapped up its season at the Horizon League Championships. The golf team finished fourth. Kelly Sterling made a birdie putt on the first playoff hole to win the individual medalist title. Megan Cramp and Claudia Stampa both finished in the top 20. Women's tennis secured its Horizon League regular season title with a 2-0 weekend. First, the Flames defeated previously unbeaten Youngstown State 5-2. Victoria Seifert and Miranda Rodriguez won a tiebreaker to clinch the doubles point. Seifert had a straight set singles win and Bianca Zuzu came back to win her singles matches in three sets to give the Flames the win. UIC swept Cleveland State 7-0 to wrap up their second straight regular season crown. The baseball team scored 53 runs in four games and swept their series against Northern Kentucky. Against for Turbo, Ben Tharp's first collegiate hit was a three-run home run. Twelve Flames scored at least one run in support of Wyatt Troutwine, who threw five scoreless innings, allowed just two hits, and struck out a career-high six. The Flames scored nine runs in the first two innings to set up an easy win in the first game against Northern Kentucky. David Becker had four hits and drove in four runs, and Dominic Smith had four RBIs as well. The Flames had to rally in Game 2 as they trailed by a run entering the ninth inning. Riley Abair drove in the go-ahead run with Matt Botcher and Alex D each knocking in two more as UIC scored six times in the ninth and claimed an 11-6 win. Scott Oda tripled and homered, and Jacob Key struck out six over five and two dirt scoreless innings to lead the Flames to a sweep in Game 3. Several Flames turned in personal records as the track and field team competed in California and Chicago over the weekend. Michelle Baricki and Natalie Jaramillo set PRs in the 5K. Allison Hansen and Martin Skoukis each ran the fastest steeplechase of their careers. Ai Kaisho and Zach Sesniak set records in the 10K. Walmer Saavedra in the 1500. Jacob Magorvich in the 400 hurdles. Michael Meskill in the 400. And Kayla Isam in the 800 also set personal records. Ali Mat Lowell took second in the 100 and fourth in the long jump. Ann Michalecki finished second in pole vault and Janora Garcia was third in the shot put. The softball team lost a pair of games against Butler and DePaul. UIC rallied to tie the game at two against Butler, but the Bulldogs scored single runs in the fourth and sixth before hitting two home runs in the seventh to put the game out of reach. The Flames scored first against DePaul on a Taylor Cairn sacrifice fly, but the lone run would not hold up as the Blue Demon scored three times to take the intra-city win. The men's tennis team closed its regular season against Youngstown State and Cleveland State. Peter Lada and Marcelo Dib each won singles matches against the Penguins, but Youngstown State won down the rest of the lineup to claim the 5-2 win. UIC won the doubles point against Cleveland State thanks to wins by Marco Nani and Kalish Pancha Pakistan. And Nico Boasalovitz and Marcelo Dib but could not maintain the momentum into the singles matches. This week, the softball and baseball teams will be in action right here at home with lots of opportunities to be a part of the action at Flames Field and Granderson Stadium. The baseball team will host Northwestern Tuesday and Milwaukee comes to town for a weekend series. Softball will host Green Bay in a midweek series and Wright State on Friday and Saturday. The tennis teams will play in the Horizon League Tournament. 
The men are the number five seed and will play Green Bay Friday. As the top seed, the women will play semifinals match on Saturday. Trek and field will be at Lewis University and the Drake Relays. Saturday is the annual Flames Fest as the baseball and softball doubleheader will take place along with family activities and free giveaways. The fun starts at 1 p.m. Visit uicflames.com for more information on Flames Fest and all of the results from the games this week. As always, I'm Jeremiah Paprocki. Fire up Flames!